Warning, these are not videos out of hate, these are videos out of love, for either the series, the franchise or the genre. I don't want to attack you in any way. If you love the thing I criticize, that's great. You can love what you want, but remember to respect those who are not loving your series, because by attacking those haters, you will only harm your series. Just remember, a real fan not only respects his franchise, but also respects other opinions about his franchise. Doopy doopy doo. Free! Give me your money! Uh, oh no! Uh, not my money! Uh, can it not be my money? What? What? Uh, what? Dude, just give me the money before I got instead of two years, twenty years. Uh, yeah, okay, that sounds fair. Hold it, even the doers, because I am here. Oh shit, it is all mine. What? No, it is I, the cowboy dude. Who? Yeah, uh, I have no idea who you are. Oh, come on. The dude who shot the hand guy and who fought against hand guy and invisible woman. Nah, still doesn't ring a bell. <sighs> The guy who looks like a badass and never misses. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now I remember who you are. You are so night eye. You know what? I'm apparently not famous enough to save someone from losing $20. Um, actually, I have $20.50. No matter. I will go and shoot some real bad guys. Can I have the money now? Hello. And welcome to a new episode of My Hero Academy Critique. I'm your host, the Notebook of a Fan. And today, we are asking ourselves the question, who is this cowboy? I mean, he looks like a Fallout 3 character, but apparently he is here in the My Hero Academy universe a hero. How did this happen? Well, let's find out. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I've no idea who the heck he is. Heck, I don't even know his name or how he would act. He's just an empty shell who doesn't have a story. No impact in the story. Are not 3D. Has no psychological, sociological or sociological figure. Has no reason to do what to do. He has no endeavors. He has no beliefs. He is just a stereotype. He's not always there 100%. And he doesn't act. Or has any conflict or inner conflict. Or to keep it short, he doesn't fit any criteria for a character. But why is that so? Is he a 1D character? Is he unimportant or does he play a bigger role? We don't know yet. Well, if he just was a 1D character, then why does he have the best design out of all the pro heroes? And he isn't unimportant either. He saved Deku from Hand Guy. His tone ain't big enough, Hand Guy. Oh, feck, it's the cowboy dude. And he fought against Hentai Guy and not existing girl, so he must be important. Give up, Hentai Guy. This tone ain't big enough for the two of us. Okay, maybe I was too hard at this. I mean, in season one, we have 20 students. 6 teacher, 10 heroes and 3 villains. This most likely means that we are focusing on them in season 2. Well, we have a problem. Now we have 52 new character, 22 1B students, 11 villains, 5 civilians and 19 heroes. And like the other 39 characters before them, they have no story, no impact in the story, are not 3D, has no psychological, sociological or physiological figure, has no reason to do what to do, has no endeavors, has no beliefs, are just stereotype, never act 100%, doesn't act in any way and have no conflict or inner conflict. Or to keep it short, that doesn't fill, once again, any criteria for a character. But most importantly, Orc Cowboy doesn't show up. He isn't there to beat Stain or give critique in the sport festival. He isn't important. You're probably saying, but they are important. They are giving us insight in the world building and giving us a limit of how hard the student needs to train to become like them. At first I was thinking the same, but then I looked once again at the cowboy. So I asked myself, does he help to advance the world building or the story? I mean, now I know that heroes can use guns. That means that they are able to kill or at least injure their foes. But nobody uses them except the police. And now I know that Deku was saved by a cool, wasted, yee-ass haircut cowboy. 
Um, can pure perfection come into your crib? Man, screw you, I'll see you at work. Oh, Corbett, don't hate me because I'm the chosen one. Maybe if you get rid of that revolver and wait for All Might to give you all for one, maybe you could also become a true hero. Or better yet, maybe if you stop shooting, shooting villains and better talk to them, maybe you get some more screen time. You see, class hero. What? But there are also no limiter, because no matter what happened, Deku will punch the villain really hard and beat him. And so the limit is overruled. So once again, I ask myself, why is he here? We have already enough wasted potential, like the news reporter who would give us insight in the world, and this guy who controls the darkness, who could be a great 1A student or a great pro hero. But why is that the case? Well, like all bad things in the series, it's because of our main character Deku. He takes 80% of the spotlight, and now all the other characters are fighting for the other 1%. Why 1%, you're asking? Because the other 90% are flashbacks. Hey, I need to be the number one hero. This is my story after all. Man, this reminds me of the time I had to tell this the video once. And by being the center of the universe, Deku takes the most important thing for a character, screen time. Let me make an example. A presentation can only last 10 to 30 minutes or else people will lose interest. They want to see something different. They don't want to hear the same thing over and over. The best example would be my first video. Because the longer I was talking, the worse and worse became the video. And because Deku was always the focus of the story, all the other characters are reduced to just their design, gimmick and the fact that they are hyping up the character. Deku, you are the greatest! And the worst thing about all of this is that the character could have so much potential. He could have been a character who killed criminals instead of saving them. He could have been the first quirkless hero and be the inspiration for Deku for becoming a hero. Or he could be one of the students of 1A and becomes a rival to Deku. Because unlike Deku, this cowboy trained even though he didn't have a quirk. If you want, I will make for all three scenarios a what if, if this video gets 10 likes. But back to business. You see, characters like those are interesting and can change the course of the story. I see that Horikoshi wants to include those characters into the story and I see that he really loves superheroes. So once again, this is not a message of hate. This is a message of love for a franchise that I love. So please, take Horikoshi's mistake as a warning and respect every character that you have written or drawn. But that is it for today. I wish you a good day and remember I believe in you, so start believing in yourself.